Good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Saturday, April the 24th. We are in Luke chapter 8, and we are beginning today at verse 40. Now, when Jesus returned, the crowd welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And there came a man named Jairus, who was a ruler of the synagogue, and falling at Jesus' feet, he implored him to come to his house. For he had only daughter, for he had an only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she was dying. As Jesus went, the people pressed around him, and there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for twelve years, and though he had spent she had spent all of her living on physicians, she could not be healed by anyone. And she came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment, and immediately her discharge of blood ceased. And Jesus said, Who was it that touched me? When all denied it, Peter said, Master, the crowds surround you and are pressing in on you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me, for I perceive that power has gone out from me. And when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him, declared in the presence of all the people why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking, someone from the ruler's house came and said, Your daughter is dead. Do not trouble the teacher any more. But Jesus, on hearing this, answered him, Do not fear, only believe, and she will be well. And when he came to the house, he allowed no one to enter with him except Peter and John and James and the father and mother of the child. And all were weeping and mourning for her. But he said, Do not weep, for she is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But taking her by the hand, he called out, saying, Child, arise. And her spirit returned, and she got up at once. And he directed that something should be given her to eat. And her parents were amazed, but he charged them to tell no one what had happened. So, uh, this is our reading today from Luke chapter 8, uh, as we're continuing to, to follow Jesus through really what amounts to readings that we would be hearing during the season of Pentecost. And Jesus is, is being... Um, asked to go and heal the synagogue ruler's daughter, Jairus. And then um, uh, on his way, someone touches him, power goes out from him, he perceives this, and um, then he he comforts the woman who touched him because she touched him in faith. She believed that touching Jesus would bring her healing, and and that that is faith. Um, not touching and then seeing if she's healed or maybe um, having a slight hope that she would be healed, but but she believed that if she, if she touched Jesus, that she would be healed. And then when Jesus gets to uh, Jairus' home, um, he really illustrates his power over death. And of course, Jesus does a number of miracles where he um, shows this, of course, the resurrection being uh, the most famous one, but then of course also Lazarus, and this one that, that Jesus has power over over death, which really is the greatest miracle um, that that can be seen, right? So everyone's amazed, but Jesus tells no one uh, what has happened here. So he's doing this out of love. He's not doing this to show off. He's only taking a few people in the room with him, the parents of the girl and the disciples um, as his inner circle. And, uh, you know, you would think that, that they all, especially the disciples, would, would come to, you know, remember this later when Jesus is put to death. But, but still, it, it doesn't quite dawn on them um, until after the resurrection. Then they finally get what all is happening, and they finally understand what the good news actually is. And, of course, now, thanks to Good Friday and Easter, so do we. Okay, let's continue now as we pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Okay, um, well, today is the big day for confirmation examination. That's happening in just a couple of hours from now at 5.30 tonight, followed by our banquet. So uh, people will soon be getting here to set up the fellowship hall around 5 p.m. tonight. 
And um, tomorrow is Confirmation Sunday, so we will have abbreviated Sunday School classes tomorrow. They'll go from about 9.30 to 10 a.m. At 10 a.m., we're asking for all the confirmands to be here, to have their pictures taken in the sanctuary. And then, of course, the, the service will go forward as, uh, as expected. Uh, let's see, this coming week, or, um, or I should say, uh, the week after, May the 4th, Tuesday, we have a VBS meeting happening at Holy Shepherd at 6.30 p.m. And then um, we have our voters meeting on the Sunday before that, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. It's going to be May the 2nd. So uh, those are some upcoming events here at Holy Shepherd as we are preparing to wrap things up during the spring season and move into summer. Uh, we are having the pastor's class via Zoom happening Monday night at 7 p.m. Uh, we don't have too many classes left for that, so that will soon be wrapping up, and, and we'll have uh, more folks coming into the into the church, and, and we're excited about that. So I wish God's blessings to be upon you for the rest of your Saturday, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in tomorrow, either online or in person. God bless.